Hey everyone. Um, so by now you probably know that I am in South America and I have been here for a couple weeks. And so I just wanted to make a little video that talks about like, what am I doing in South America? And um, talk a little bit about my YouTube channel that I'm trying to start. Um, but yeah, so why am I in South America? So right now I am in the capital city of Paraguay, which is called Asuncion. And Asuncion is the capital city. Did I say that? I don't know. Um, Asuncion is the capital city of Paraguay. Uh, Paraguay is kind of nestled in between like Brazil, Argentina, and Bolivia. And so it's kind of a random place. A lot of people have never heard of it. Um, most people have heard of Uruguay, but not Paraguay. Um, so why am I here? Uh, so about two years ago, I was hiking in Nepal uh, with a group of friends and we ended up meeting this guy, Bruno, who lived who lives in uh, Paraguay, in Asuncion. And so uh, we all became really good friends. And then about six months ago, Bruno asked if I wanted to do this other trip with him, um, which would be like a similar hiking trip uh, to hike, I think it's called Aconcagua in Argentina. And so I said no, because the hiking in Nepal was a little bit hard on my body in terms of elevation. Um, and I feel like above 15,000 feet, you know, things, kind of just look like Mars, like there's really not a whole lot of vegetation and I wasn't like, it wasn't a personal accomplishment or bucket list item that I had. So I said no. Um, but at the same time, I was trying to plan this longer trip in South America um, where I can kind of work remote and be able to travel more long-term. And so I felt like it was an opportunity um, to have a place to start. So I asked Bruno if I can just come down and stay at his apartment and watch his dog while he was gone. And he was like, you know, sure, no problem. Uh, so that's pretty much what I'm doing. Uh, so I arrived two, uh, two weeks ago. And so I'll be here a total of five weeks. Um, so I'm watching Bob, who is sleeping next to me. Um, and so Bob is Bruno's French bulldog. He's really cute and he pretty much follows me everywhere. Um, and so he, uh, yeah, he was basically like, come watch my apartment. Um, so I arrived two weeks ago. The first week Bruno was here for most of, for the week. Um, and so he kind of showed me the ropes and he, uh, basically like showed me the neighborhood and places to go and places to avoid and kind of where to walk Bob, how to care for Bob. And, uh, and then this last week I've been here on my own at the apartment. And so... Um, my plan overall was uh, to start in Paraguay, um, so I'll be here, like I said, for five weeks. Then after that, I'll travel through Brazil, and I'm not really sure where I'm going to go after that. Um, but that was kind of the point of my trip, is like I wanted to be able to buy a one-way ticket somewhere and just see what it's like to travel like slow and at whatever pace I want it to be. Um, so I'm still working. A lot of people have asked me that. I, so my company had agreed to let me work part-time remote, uh, which basically means I have to work more than 20 hours a week, uh, or a minimum 20 hours a week, I should say, and, and be able to just work from pretty much wherever I have an internet connection. And so my work schedule right now is with the time difference. There's a five hour time difference right now between California and Paraguay. And so if I work um, 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. here, that's like working 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. in California. And then I just work uh, four days a week from Monday through Thursday. And yeah, so it's worked out pretty well so far. Uh, so that is pretty much my commitment work-wise, so I'm just trying to kind of travel and, and work wherever I can find an internet connection. Um, but yeah, I felt like Paraguay was really the, the perfect place to start because it was like, um, yeah, a place where, you know, I have Bruno's like friends and family that I can, um, you know, connect with or I can go to if anything, if I need anything. Um, and it was a place where I can kind of get used to living in South America kind of get used to um, the climate. As you can tell, it's like super hot right now. I don't know if you can tell. Hopefully you can't tell. 
but it's very hot in here. Um, and yeah, kind of get used to like how to live here, like what kind of groceries are at the grocery store and, and get used to, I guess, kind of having an increased level of awareness when it comes to general safety in South America. And so I'm really grateful that I, you know, pretty much my only responsibility is just to watch Bob. Um, and so, yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm doing here. My plan after this, um, I'm here for three more weeks and then I'll travel through Brazil. Um, and so that's pretty much like what I'm doing here. Um, I'm, yeah, just trying, like there's not a ton of touristy things to do here in general. Um, so it's really just kind of figuring out how to live like day to day and live in this new kind of work platform and try to find balance between traveling and working and hopefully I can find those two. Um, anyway, so the other part is like why, like why am I starting a YouTube channel? This was something I never ever thought that I would do, um, but my dad, I don't know if you can hear Bob, his breathing problems, you can say hello, Bob. Okay, so, um, yeah, so I never thought that I'd ever start, like, a YouTube channel, um, because in general, like, I don't even like videotaping myself, I don't really even like taking pictures that much, especially I don't like taking pictures or videoing myself when it's, like, super duper hot inside, but here we are, um, and so, yeah, it was something that, like, I felt like there's a few different things that I wanted to get out of a YouTube channel and that like I'm not comfortable in front of a camera and I felt like st starting something like this was a way that it really pushed the boundaries of my comfort zone and helped me to be more comfortable and to not be so concerned about like you know what are other people thinking you know are other people like watching me film myself or like you know oh maybe I'm in their way or maybe I'm bugging them um, but just to do things that, um, to, to be like less afraid of what other people think. Now that I think about it, I'm not sure doing this on a social media platform is like the best place. But um, yeah, and I think um, the other reason was also as kind of a creative outlet to do something that lets me tap into my creative side, which like is pretty weak. I wouldn't consider myself a creative person. Um, and also just as a way to like document my trip so that I can have like friends so I could have something to look back on but also have like friends and family um, take a look and like know where I am and kind of be able to see the things that I'm seeing and live a little bit more vicariously through me than just posting a couple pictures here and there. Um, yeah, so hopefully like it's cool. Hopefully my channel's cool. I don't know. Like we'll find out but um, I yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I just wanted to make a quick intro. I don't know how quick it is. It's getting a little long. Um, but yeah, I just, I wanted to do something uh, that kind of introduced this little project that I'm starting and um, gave a little bit of context. So uh, if you're interested, I guess hit subscribe. And yeah, hopefully I'll be able to do some new videos every week. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, that is it for me.